Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There's good warriors and people out there. They know the art of inquiry, the art of asking questions, so to arrive at relative truths through Socratic dialogue. There is still a lot of beauty, magic, and love alive in the world today. To lead a balanced life, we must address the light and the dark with compassion. Other good people have said these things before. I was taught to love and respect people and nature. But it is also natural for me and far easier to be negative and to resort to anger, hate, and violence. I have always been in love with battle and will always study martial arts and warfare. And this is a familiar language that I can use when talking to other people who want to be assholes. But at the end of the day, we all need to be on the same page of life-affirming goodwill. And that is why I give to you now something that we can actually do to make a change and be positive. And for those of you that have already been doing this, I thank you and congratulate you like the man who wrote this. John Perry and others out there that do their thing and aren't chicken shit. Here it goes. Letter to the Democrats. All those Democrats out there. I will give no money to anyone who does not stand up and publicly demand that we protect and defend the Constitution of the United States by impeaching George W. Bush and Dick Cheney for their numerous and extensively documented violations of this sacred document that is supposed to guide our government. It is quite simply treasonous for anyone who holds elective office or seeks to do so in this country to publicly recognize the impeachable offenses of the Bush administration but then refuse to insist on commencement of these impeachment hearings. This is precisely the case with many prominent Democrats and reveals a reprehensible preference for political posturing over honoring the oath of office. This is not just about George W. Bush and Dick the Cheney. This is about restoring and preserving the integrity of the Constitution of the United States that these people have so grievously damaged. Allowing this administration to finish their term without facing accountability for their crimes will only serve to validate them and open the door for future administrations to act in a similarly lawless style, which will effectively render our Constitution meaningless. This is completely unacceptable in the United States of America. The votes aren't there is not an acceptable argument for not moving on impeachment. It cannot possibly be known whether the votes were there until the evidence is presented on the record and a vote is taken. Not enough time, needless distraction argument also falls hopelessly flat. The Clinton impeachment investigation took four months. Nixon took three. With Bush, on the other hand, the evidence has already been widely documented and readily available. Impeachment is not an option. Under such circumstances, it must happen. It needs to happen. If you truly want to restore the Democratic Party and greatly increase your chances of becoming president, you will take the lead on impeachment. History has shown that the party bringing impeachment charges has been extremely successful. Demand the impeachment of Bush and Cheney now, in public and in private life. And as a large corporation once said, and I don't think they'll mind me stealing it in order to give to the poor, just do it.